What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I wanted to do was talk about the new legends that are being added to the game today. And those of course are right tackle Dan Deerdorf and cornerback Rod Woodson. So guys, you probably remember both of these items being available in Madden 25 Ultimate Team and they make their way back into the game today. So, if you guys are interested in opening packs, I think this is probably one of the best times that you're going to have an opportunity to get good stuff. Today, obviously, they added the new Deerdorf, they added the new Woodson, they've still got the other legends that have been released. There's Team of the Week stuff, there's Football Outsiders stuff, and then, of course, there's the most feared content, which is just going for absurd prices if you pull any of the elites or like a Colin Kaepernick or items like that. But with that being said, guys, I wanted to hop in real quickly and take a look at some of the attributes for these new items because I think that you guys are probably going to like them. I'm actually thinking that these are two of the better legends that they've added into the game thus far. First off, we have right tackle Dan Deerdorf, 92 overall. Of course, he played for the Arizona Cardinals, and he's got some nice attributes here, guys. First off, let's take a look at the fact that he has 96 pass blocking. That is the best of any right tackle that is currently in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. So right off the bat, he's an absolute monster and one of the most important attributes that you can have for an offensive lineman. In my opinion, at right tackle, it is the most important attribute and he is the best at it so far in the game. So therefore, you can make a case that this already is the best right tackle in the game. Add on the fact that he has 91 strength, which is pretty solid, and a 91 run block as well. And you have to realize that this is one of the most complete offensive linemen that they have actually released yet into the game. Now, he doesn't have spectacular speed or agility or acceleration. None of those things are particularly amazing. His impact block is okay. His awareness is solid. But again, guys, those two attributes, the pass block, the run block, and then, of course, add in the strength, which is very good as well at 91. And Deerdorf is an absolute monster. Definitely going to be one of the best offensive linemen in the game, probably for some time here until they start releasing, you know, better ultimate legends or whatever they decide to actually do in the game. But... That isn't the card that I think most people are going to be excited for. The one that I'm thinking people are going to be super excited for is Rod Woodson. 94 overall at cornerback. And guys, you have to remember too that Rod Woodson not only played cornerback, but he also played safety. And he made a living at both positions. He was an absolute beast. One of the best players in the history of the league. And of course, he is rewarded with an awesome ultimate team card here this afternoon. Guys, 95 speed at cornerback. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys remember last year when he was released into the game, the cornerback Rod Woodson only had 91 speed. Even the 97 overall legend only had 91 speed, which made him very, very difficult to use because there were so many overpowered wide receivers and he just wasn't able to keep up with them. This year, when they introduced him into the game, we see that he does have the higher speed, which is excellent. We absolutely love to see that. He also actually has two higher in acceleration than the 97 overall did, which is kind of interesting to me as well. Now, the biggest thing that I think people are going to love about this item, in addition to the fact that he's an increased speed and acceleration, is the fact that he actually has the highest zone coverage of any cornerback in the game right now, except for Richard Sherman, the 99 overall Richard Sherman, of course, but they're actually tied at 97. So Sherman isn't even better than Rod Woodson. They're the same. He does have also a 95 man coverage, which is excellent as well. Not many corners in the game have higher than that. Obviously the Sherman and then just say, save for a, a couple other guys that have higher than that. But dude, this Rod Woodson is epic. My opinion, just my opinion, other than the Richard Sherman, probably the best cornerback in the game now because he add, he basically has every single thing that you would look for the only thing that he isn't spectacular at that i can see is that his awareness and his play recognition are only at 85 now those numbers aren't bad but they're not really what you would expect out of a guy who is a ball hawk like rod woodson but either way we don't really mind all the other attributes are so good that it will make up for that without a problem the other thing that's a little bit hidden about this and we don't know yet at the time that i'm recording this video what the actual attribute is going to be, but Rod Woodson was one of the biggest hitters in Madden 25 Ultimate Team at the cornerback and the safety position. So I think, I think that he is going to be one of the highest 
hit power cornerbacks in this game as well. I don't know that for sure yet. We'll have to verify it tomorrow and see. But my guess is that he's going to be one of the highest hit power corners in addition to all his coverage attributes, which just means that the dude is out of control good. This is probably going to be the most expensive cornerback card, except for Richard Sherman again. We always have to keep saying that, except for Richard Sherman, because that's just so much off on its own right now as the best card in the game that's really not worth discussing. So uh, besides that, this is probably the best cornerback in the game. I don't know what it's going to go for. Um, I'm going to guess probably somewhere in the range of like five to six hundred thousand coins, uh, depending on how rare it is, of course. But... I mean, the attributes on this thing are really, really good, and it's definitely going to be one of the best cornerbacks in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And guys, like I said, if you're expecting to get anything good in the next couple of weeks here, probably would be a good idea for you to open up packs today because there's so much great stuff in the packs this afternoon. Go ahead and do it. I know sometimes it hurts and we want to save up our coins, but guys, this is the time that you save up your coins for. So much good stuff in there. You're probably going to have a good chance to make your money back or potentially get one of these really, really epic pulls. So good luck in your pack openings, guys. Thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.